What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to go over top snipe filters NBA 2K22. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much just going to go over the market, go over the snipe filters. I'm going to show you the best snipe filters in this game. If you don't know what a snipe filter is, it's pretty much just a method to make MT. So if you like making MT, make sure to drop the follow, drop the sub, it'd be appreciated, man. More likes, more subs, more comments, means more giveaways on the channel. So make sure to do all that. Um, if you guys are interested in sports cards, hit me up on Instagram, man. I do sports card streams on TikTok as well all the time. And also, if you do need MT, hit me up. I buy and sell MT. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter if you want to buy and or sell. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to get into this video, sub, all that good stuff. All right. Here's what I think. So first up, we're going to get into the market. The market did not crash this weekend. It's because the content was not it. I think this Anthony Davis, this whole release was just mid. This Scottie Pippen's not that good. This Dennis Robbins not that good. Jay Crowder's good, I guess. Entirely. I think the best players in this whole set are these two rubies right here, in my opinion. Dominique's all right. Isaiah Thomas, they're just not fan favorite players, you know. They're just not good in 2K. I don't like this drop. It was decent. So, we're going to go over the top snipe filters. We're going to see how it affected the market. I'm going to give you my overall view on the market in general. Um, as of right now, I, it's not really crashed. We're going to go over it. I'm going to start off with one filter and one filter because I have no MT as of right now. I got to sell a couple things. Um, all right, boys. We are going to start off with the Ruby filter. Put the Ruby filter to around 2,500 MT. Um, is Tyrese Halliburton a good investment? Well... This is a very good snipe filter in general. As you guys do know, Rudy Gobert was around, I don't know. Rudy Gobert was really, really cheap the other day. Now he's up to around 3,000 MT. He was at 15, it's 2,000 MT. He's up over 3,000 MT. So um, if you want to invest in rubies, my advice is try to snipe them out first because there is a lot of snipes that pop up. You could invest Tyrese Halliburton at 2250 but I think you can get a lot cheaper. So if you want, this filter is very good. Pretty much whatever pops up in this filter, you want to buy. I do believe, though, you could get a Tyrese Halliburton for $2,150 and below. I believe his price will rise up to around $3,000 MT. So if you want, this is probably one of your better investments. His stats show it. He's an amazing. He has a great jump shot, number one. He has great shooting stats, and he has decent defense. For a Ruby, you're not going to get much better than that. Not only that, he's just very liked in the NBA. He's a hype beast player, in my opinion. He's a top three rookie of the class last year. I love him as in general. I have his rookie card, too. He's a beast. I love Tyrese Halliburton. I say his price goes up. Not only that, if anything else does pop up on the Ruby filter, it is a must buy. It is a must must buy. Not only that, if you guys remember last week's set, that all that the whole players, Wendell Carter, Lou Dort, they all went up in value a ton. So that's also why I say that is one of the best night filters investment wise. If you have 100k, you invest in Tyrese Halliburton, you make 1,000 MT per. That's another 100k MT easy. So that's why I say invest. Um, top snipe filter. Number two is probably the Amethyst filter. It is a little clustered. They did go up in value though. If you know what you're doing, you get a lot of snipes in here. You just got to know pricing a little bit. Um, you really just got to know what you're doing. Amethyst filter is definitely really good. Just got to really know pricing and got to know who's worth the buy. Here's a little tip. The legends are not good buys. You do not want to buy legends. Legends are just not good buys. I really recommend you don't buy the legends unless you get them for a, a substantially cheap price. Other than that, the legends are not such a good buy. Cliff Hagen, Kenya Martin, all them. Decent buys, nothing crazy. I would recommend trying to stay away from them. I really would. Um, next up, we got diamonds, all right? We got diamond, diamond, diamond. All right, so here it is. Last week, I got Dirk Nowitzki for 50K, sold him for 63. Dominique Wilkins, diamond, guys. Very decent card. Um, like, Dirk, first off, Dirk went up. This Dominique Wilkins with a great three-point shot, decent defense, and good speed is going for a whopping 50-something K. This filter is good in general. You just never know what's going to pop up. Sometimes you get a diamond for 50k and someone just wants to sell their card quick. So this filter is not bad. As you guys know, there is a 10% reduction fee. So if you guys not, if you don't want to get screwed, make sure you know exactly what's going on with the reduction fee. Dominique Wilkins is a 5k reduction if he's at 50k. So 10% off. So pretty much if it's 100k, you get 10k off. 90k, you get 9k off. That's what the 10% reduction does. This filter is not bad. It's not amazing. Just pay attention to it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. All right, we're going to do this filter, right? Um, what was it? Colossal? No, Dunktober. All right. Dunktober is a pretty slept on filter. Now, what I recommend, if you have the MT to do this, you could really make a lot of MT um, because Donovan Mitchell, if you want, if you yeah, that's what you buy. So 
by Gary Harris and by Dennis Schroeder. Cost you around 20k or less. And you enable it out to get Donovan Mitchell and Josh Smith on the filter. That filter could make you upwards of hundreds of thousands of MT. And I'm going to show you why. Because they're both very expensive and they're both super usable players. Um, you're about to see this. So Josh Smith, one of my favorite players like back then, man. Josh Smith was a beast in his prime. I love Josh Smith. Chris Smoove used to call him J Smoove. He was a beast. So if you guys want, go over to Josh Smith. Um, we're gonna go over. I don't know. He's probably 30 something K and his price went up so much. He was around 25k. His price is over 33k. This is what I'm saying. If you want to try sniping him out, he's over 42. No, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Who's John Smith, guys? Who is John Smith? Alright, hold up. Josh Smith. Alright. Josh Smith. Wow, he actually is around that price. So Josh Smith is 39,000 MT. I am guaranteeing you guys to get a snipe on this guaranteeing you is out of packs first off if you have josh smith sell him super packs are like 12 days away if you guys don't know what super packs are it's pretty much they re-release everything they literally re-release everything in the season so if you have some high-end players make sure to sell them super packs are coming soon the market is going to drop like crazy so be ready for that if you lose a lot of mt don't blame me just make sure you try to sell your cards Donovan Mitchell, man. When I first, when it first dropped, this man was 15,000 MT. This card is 27K. Pretty much the hype beast Amethyst go up in value. You haven't noticed. Kawhi Leonard went up. Josh Smith went up. Donovan Mitchell went up. So this week, we got Robin and Pippen. I don't think they're good enough to rise, in my opinion. I really don't think they're good. We're going to look at Scotty Pippen. We're going to see his price. We're going to see if it goes up. We're going to see if it's worth it. Ooh, oh my God. It's a snipe. I think that's a snipe. Oh, okay, it's not. All right. Is Scotty Pippen going to go up in value? We're about to find out here. I'm going to give you my expertise right now. Scotty Pippen with a decent three-point shot with amazing perimeter defense. At 11,000 MT, at a 91 overall, 10,500 MT with a limited spam. This card, 110% goes up in value. Now, I don't know what you want to invest in that. But as you guys can see, people are definitely putting him up because they just played limited with him. If you guys want, this might be one of the better investments as well. And you know, we're going to end this video off right here. With the last one, the last investment, the last night filter is most definitely diamond contracts. You gotta give diamond contracts a try, man. Diamond contracts could be a huge come up. They're at 36k literally two days ago. They're down to 29k. Keep your eyes on diamond contracts. You could make so much, and when I mean so much MT of diamond contracts, I mean hundreds of thousands of MT of diamond contracts. You just gotta know what you're doing. But um, other than that, man, um, we are absolutely broke in this game. Um, that's gonna be it for the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. We are on the road of 14k. Make sure to sub it up. We're just gonna throw up these players for a bit, man. That's all we got for the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.